If you want to uh, replace or maybe clean your keyboard and kind of take it out, then the good news is, is that you don't have to touch any other piece of hardware. Uh, the keyboard is separate to everything and it is held in firstly by this bezel and we can see that there's an orange border all around the keyboard so this plastic bezel needs to come out and I'm just using um, a plastic pry tool just to get underneath it um, maybe start up the top where it's thinner and there you go you can see once you've started you can just move the pry tool along and then the little plastic catches which keep the bezel in hopefully will keep coming out and then again it's a combination of being <laughs> quite gentle but also um, being quite firm as well so there we go the bezels now come out so the next stage is that the keyboard is secured via three Phillips screws one two three so let's take these out So we're looking for the three screws um, on the black metal tabs. And this is our third now. Okay, so now back with our pry tool. So we can see the keyboard is also held in place by some little plastic latches on either side down here and also down here. So as we use your pry tool just to kind of bring the laptop up and just work on this left edge here. There we go. Again firm but gentle. Now be very gentle as you bring it up because you can see this is then the ribbon, the lead here which connects the keyboard to the main part of the laptop and it is held in place by a, uh, a black or grey latch and again I'm just going to go under that kind of latch and just flip it up and then the ribbon comes loose so let's just have a look at this the model number of the um, of the keyboard. So there you go. It's made by a company um, called Ciccone MP ten F five six GB six six nine eight. So I'm in the UK. So this is obviously a UK model. Um, or you might look for part number PK one thirty FN. 3A12.